There are many factors that affect migration. These include, but are not limited to, intervening obstacles, distance decay, and migration selectivity. Distance decay is the concept that the further apart two points are from each other, the less influence they have on each other, and the less they interact. This is normally pictured in a graph like this one. In a way, distance decay can be compared to the gra differing gravitational pull between two objects. The moon, for example, is much smaller than the sun, but its close proximity to Earth exerts much more force on our oceans. In distance decay, the population of a place is compared to the different sizes of the moon, sun, and moon. To continue, an intervening obstacle is an environmental or cultural feature of the landscape that hinders migration. Examples of these are the political borders between countries or a large mountain range. This ties into distance decay because the further apart two places are, the more intervening obstacles that are bound to be between them. It also ties into distance decay because it might be easier to communicate with a city far away on a grassy plain than to a city on the top of a nearby mountain. Globalization has mostly conquered some of these principles. Going back to our previous analogy of gravity and planets, technology can com can be compared to wormholes, taking people directly from one place to the next. Physical intervening obstacles like mountains and oceans are no longer intervening obstacles due to advances in technology that has created airplanes and ships. Not only that, but the instantaneous communication we have developed has caused the influence of population exerts to become much more widespread. Finally, migration selectivity is when only people exhibiting certain characteristics in a population are choosing to migrate. An example of migration selectivity could be the migration of people during the Holocaust. Many Jewish people were forced to migrate to Israel or into concentration camps. Migration selectivity is more often the result of a certain push factor than of a pull factor.